What's going on, my peoples and my peoples to be? This is Kamrock Carr from Ill Digital Content. And I told you I'd be back. I'm a man of my word. And I'm back with my final impressions about the newer LED NL660. Um, I'm going to go through just a little bit more what it feels like. And I'm actually using it right now. I got the light right over there with a little kitchen light above my head. Uh, but, you know, I needed to show the product. So, you know, one's on and other's going to be reviewed. All right. So <laughs> let's get to it. Dang. <laughs> So what we're going to do is set this light stand up. First thing we want to do is take the bars and just slightly tug on them a little bit until it starts to move. But first loosen this nut. If this nut is tightened, it will not adjust. Okay, make sure that's loose. And now you can adjust the stand. You can adjust the width of it. You can make it a really wide stance, but what I suggest you do is put it on the floor that you're gonna have it set on and then move it down to the center pole is pretty much on the floor with the other legs and then tighten it. This second nut is to loosen up the secondary pole, which adjust. And the third one is to adjust the third pole. The stand is also very sturdy. I mean, the stand, it folds up. It's very simple to break down. Um, the light just attaches onto the top there, um, which is basically, <laughs> yeah. Basically, it attaches to the top of that. Get into focus bubble. There you go, bang. Um, this is a very sturdy, uh, sturdy thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's thin, it's light, it's not super, super heavy duty, but it's more than enough for what this product is intended for. What I'm gonna do now is assemble the mounting bracket to the light. First off, take the wing nut off. Make sure that you don't lose this washer. There's a washer there. Make sure you don't lose that washer. There are two mounting holes on each side of the light here and here. It came in the box as being mounted to the top hole, but I find when it's mounted to the top hole, what happens is it can scrape the bottom of the bracket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the second hole, which is gonna give me enough space to swivel back and forth. Take the wing nut first and put it through the bracket. Then take the washer and put the washer on the opposite side of the bracket. And then with the newer logo facing up as your reference, install the first bracket into the top hole. Turn it over and repeat on the other side. Bam, so it should look like this. And now, when you have it tightened, you should have no problem. Oh, let me loosen up just a little bit. When you need to make adjustments and you want to tilt it, say, down perhaps, you should have no problem, it won't hit. This is the problem I had with the other unit that's already set up and I was doing recording earlier. It was put on the top pole and what happened is that when I try to adjust it, like say tilt it to go down, it would hit. You see the barn doors, the barn doors are in the way and it made it difficult to tilt. So in case you're wondering, this plastic tip 
it does come off. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe there's other equipment in the industry that, you know, can go on that. But for installing these lights, leave that plastic tip on. That's what the instructions say to do. Make sure on the mounting bracket that this is loose enough to go in. I mean, you probably can't see, but inside there, that screw is actually, that screw part is actually what's gonna clamp on to the mounting pole. All right, push down, make sure it's flush. Tighten. It'll straighten itself out and level out as the screw gets tighter. And bam. You're almost ready to go. Barn door is open. I'm realizing now what, what the problem was before with me not being able to tilt this down is that when the barn doors are open, you cannot tilt this light. If you wanted to film something and you wanted the light to be facing down and you wanted to, you wanted to be facing down, you would pretty much have to tilt it that way first, but then once you do, you can't really open the barn doors from this position. They're only gonna go so far. So if you needed to do that, you probably would have to remove these barn doors if you needed to light the face down. Um, otherwise, let's see, if it's closed and you push it back, yeah, they're just not gonna open up. If you needed the light to be facing down, you probably would need to remove these barn doors. Now we can adjust this to height. Now you can adjust your barn doors, open them up. of the light in the place. Connect the brick to the power cord. With the power cord plugged in, just know that selecting and going to the left sends power from the battery pack. Sending it from the right actually sends power from the wall. Now you're all set to use your new lights. There goes the white. There goes the yellow. Have fun learning, guys. All right, let me get back to my reviews. Peace.